What's up guys? Brian Grossman here with Get Outdoors South and I'm finally getting around to uh, setting up my arrows for the upcoming deer season. We are just, man, just a few weeks away. It's definitely game time, time to get things together and uh, get everything dialed in in these last few weeks. I'm once again going with the Black Eagle Carnivores. I've, I've been shooting them now for I think at least three seasons uh, and I've had you know, really good, good success with them. Haven't had any issues with any breakage or anything. Uh, just, yeah, just been real happy with them. And I'm, I'm a big fan of Black Eagle, uh, the, the company and, and the folks that, that own and run it. And so I'm, I'm happy to, to be using these again. This is actually my arrow setup from last year. So I'm going to be, you know, keeping it fairly similar. This is 561 grains with a 150 grain uh, wasp sharpshooter uh, broadhead on it. And uh, though I, I used these last year for the first time and was real happy with them. Uh, before that, I was using Magnus Stingers and I was happy with those as well. Just, uh, you know how it is, always, always wanting to try something different. Uh, and at the time, uh, Magnus were, were tough to get a hold of. They were, they were uh, backed up on their uh building or shipping or, or something and it was taking quite a while uh, for them to get their, those stingers shipped out so i decided to try something that was a little more read readily available and yeah again I, I was i was real happy with these uh killed a big hog and, and a doe with them last year and actually in the same hunt so i'm probably going to try it again um I, I haven't completely decided on broadhead yet these carnivores weigh eight and a half grains per inch and i'm going to cut these about 30 inches so what's that like 255 grains something like that and then i have uh, 100 grain brass inserts from black eagle and uh that with the the fletchings and the knocks i think it's going to put me up somewhere around 370 and then you know, whatever broadhead I put on there. If I go with 150 grains again, I'm going to be somewhere in the 520 grain range. Uh, or I might, I might drop down. I might drop as low as, as 100 grain broadheads on there, which would actually get me under 500. Uh, and I think, you know, still, still fairly heavy arrow should still, you know, I should get some decent speed out of a, a 470 or so grain arrow. And so I might go that route. We'll just, we'll see. Haven't decided on the broadhead yet, but uh, we're going to get, cutting these, getting these inserts in, and uh, yeah, get, get set up and, and ready to start shooting here for deer season. So uh, I am brand new to the whole arrow saw building my own arrows. So yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. I just got this in and got it mounted. And uh, yeah, looking forward to it. something I should have done a long time ago. Uh, been considering an arrow saw for years, and it's just one of those things, you know, where there was always something I wanted a little more but uh yeah i shouldn't have waited so long but we're gonna we're gonna take advantage of it now and get some arrows cranked out here all right so we got all six arrows cut now now what i want to do we, you want to make sure that the ends of these are perfectly square uh, otherwise you know when you put your insert in glue that in it's not going to be straight going to screw your broadheads in there. Uh, it's not going to be straight. It's going to be out of alignment and it's going to cause flight issues with your arrow. So you want to make sure again that the ends of these arrows are square and the best way to do that is with an arrow squaring tool like this one from Carbon Express. It goes right in the end of your drill. It uh, has a little flat abrasive surface on it here and you just put your arrow right in the end there run it a little bit you can see it cutting those carbon or creating dust there and that just ensures that that tip is square and we're going to do that of course with each of these six arrows all right just out of curiosity i'm going to weigh each of these and just see kind of where we're at if i can get them to stay on my scale here 290 exactly 90 grains so that's a little more no that's about that's about right with the the fletchings and the knocks on there 289.7 so yeah within three 
tenths of a grain. I think we're good there. 289.2, still within eight tenths of a grain. 290 on the money. 289.4. 289.4, that's pretty good. Definitely, definitely good and consistent. So now the fun part of getting these inserts glued into the, the shafts of this arrow. And for that, I have some bonding insert iron. I've used this before. It seems to be pretty good stuff. At least I haven't had any issues with uh, losing any inserts. My co-host is up here now. Yeah, just come on up here and take a bath. It's okay. All right. So let's get started and hope for the best here. Man, whatever you do, don't get this stuff on your fingers <laughs> or any more than you have to. Because it definitely, definitely holds. All right. One down, five to go. Zeroed out. Weight ought to be a lot more front of center now. 390.6. So you added the 100 grain inserts with a little glue to, to go along with it, and we're 390 on the on the butt. Well, good deal. So we got six arrows, six of these Black Eagle carnivores set up. Um, 390 grains, pretty much. So I can go with the 100 grain broadheads and be right at 490. Uh, I could go up to 125s, you know, put me right there at uh, 405 or so. Or, you know, I could go back to the 150s that I already have, like this Wasp Sharpshooter, and be in the, what would that be, 440? So, uh, or 540, I'm sorry, 540. And 505, I think I might have said 4. Anyway, be just somewhere just below 500 up to you know, a little over, a little over 500, 540. Um, so got a decision to make there, but uh, just excited, man, about the upcoming season, about getting everything ready. The preparation to me is, uh, you know, half the fun of, of the whole deal. So yeah, one more piece of the puzzle put together here and uh, time to start slinging some arrows, guys. So stay tuned to the Get Outdoors South YouTube channel. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button. The little notification bell so you can stay up to date with all of our latest videos because we are we have been cranking out the content a video or two every week and uh, continue to do that in the deer season hopefully amp it up a little bit with some actual hunts so i hope you guys will stick around for that